So one of my favorite things to do, whether it's an apartment or a big home, is to bring in special kind of curated lighting. Mm -hmm. After you saw my apartment, I have tons of art. And one of my easiest ways to highlight that art is with one of these picture lights. And when you think of these, you think of, okay, I have to hardwire my wall, I have to hire an electrician. This is under 30 bucks on Amazon. There's wow. no plug. Wow. It's battery operated. And look at this, you hang it here, and when you're on the couch watching Rachel Ray, you can turn it on and off. And look, we've got cool light, warm light, or like a medium in between light right here. It does and tricks wow. too. It does tricks. Look at this. So if you had something here you wanted to highlight, like a vase or something, you can turn these, and it also comes in brass. So if you want that kind of like old school so preppy look. So you can look, choose, right. Totally. If you want more of an urban or industrial look versus the brass, exactly. more classic or traditional. I have to tell you, I have these like all over my, I mean, these. this is my obsession. They must love you. I hope these people sponsor you. <laughs> I would know, we'll, we'll get there. So, so that's what that's I That's fabulous. That's great, right? By the way, I took this picture on my iPhone. That's another trick. If your people oh, always write me, they're great. like, where do you get your art? I'm like, I took it on my phone. I turned it to black and white. Right, right. I sent it to the printer for 10 bucks and I put it in a frame I found at the flea market. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Come over to my rug lamp. Oh, I, I do this trick all the time. I, I know where I you're knew, going. I knew we were on the same I know where you're about going. This. So I did a video on this on social and everybody was very torn, but it's an old trick of the trade, especially with the luxury fashion business when we were designing right, stores, right, right. is layering rugs. Mm -hmm. And it's not as complicated as you think. And what it does is it adds depth, it adds contrast and texture, and it also lets you be a little more creative with your space. Right. So let's say you started with a big neutral, a neutral like a sisal is my favorite to kind I of- I love sisals. It gives texture, it's yes. organic. It's and really it goes cool. with everything, whether it's like you live coastal, you live up in the mountains. I got gotcha. you. It goes with everything. And then you would take a smaller rug, slightly smaller in scale. Gotcha. I like doing it on the bias like this, which is, you know, on a diagonal, and then just roll it out on top. I love this look of like an old vintage kind of Persian on top of a sisal. Nice. And then you can put your coffee table, have your couch. This is also a great trick. And it you, defines areas. It does, yeah. it, it gives, especially if you're in a small space and you're dining is by your living. Right. You can make the living feel like its own space by doing this. And I also tell my friends that, you know, buy a home that has wall-to-wall -wall carpet and they're like, oh my God, I don't have the money to rip it out. I'm like, layer the rugs on top of on the top carpeting. On top of it, doesn't yes. matter. You can totally do that. To so I love this little right. trick. I, I love this trick. It's good, right? And a sisal, um, a lot of like um, my friend's husbands, that they'll be on the phone and they're like, I wanna buy a sisal, but he thinks it's uncomfortable on his feet. Look for something, you know, guys like comfort. This solves the problem. This solves the problem. And also there is so much innovation in sisal and jute rugs right now. They're soft, they don't shed. You can find them all over the internet. But you're putting more rug on top of it. Totally. Tell him to hopscotch across. Yes, across it. The only <laughs> thing I would say when doing this is make sure you use a good rug pad on the on the Yes, base that's rug, huge. So you're not. Rug pads are essential. It's a big deal. That's and such a Great a dog tip. like me that runs in and the carpet slides oh, through yeah. the kitchen. Just lock it down with a good Just rug lock pad down, and baby. you're good to go. Yeah. All right, here we go. Right. Bring it home. This is one of my absolute favorite finds. So you know when you move into a place and there's like that builder grade lighting that just you've seen in every single apartment. Maybe you're renting. You're like, yeah. oh my god, I can't hire an electrician. I can't damage the ceiling. Look, this is the picture of that. You know what I'm talking right? about. Of that course. type. You're like, how do I get rid of this? Look no further. This is a converter kit. So you can leave that on the ceiling. And essentially what you do is you leave the fixture up, no electrician required. You would remove the glass, just like in this video right, here. You just take that out. And exactly. you can put this beautiful shade on top with the converter uh, screws that come with it. And it instantly. That is so clever. Isn't this amazing? And they also come in mold. Look, look, at, look at the that. end result. I mean, this is like the ultimate. This, especially if you live and in a this, city. Th that particular type of lighting is so flattering. Well, that's what you want to look for too, especially with ceiling lighting, is something a bit more diffused. And I would switch out that cold LED bulb that's probably in that fixture oh, yeah. to something like a daylight or a somewhat warm light. With the diffused shade, you're gonna look like a million bucks all the time.